Introduction In 225 BC, the Battle of Telamon witnessed a clash between the Roman Republic and a formidable alliance of Celtic tribes. Under the command of consuls Gaius Attilius Regulus and Lucius Aemilius Papus, the Roman forces emerged victorious, decisively defeating the Celts led by the Gaesate kings Concolatinus and Anaroestes. This resounding victory not only quelled the Celtic threat to Rome but also paved the way for the expansion of Roman influence in northern Italy. Background In 225 BC, the tribes of Cisalpine Gaul had enjoyed peace with Rome since 238 BC. However, resentment grew when Rome partitioned Piscinum and allocated Celtic land to poorer citizens. In response, the Boi and Insibers tribes enlisted Gaesate mercenaries from Transalpine Celtic territories to fight against Rome. Alarmed by the mobilization, Rome called on its allies in Italy for support. Consul Lucius Aemilius Papus led a sizable force stationed at Ariminum, while Gaius Attilius Regulus had an equal army in Sardinia. The Celts overran Etruria, but at the Battle of Faisali, they lured the Romans into a trap and emerged victorious. Papus arrived later and pursued the Celts, but they withdrew to the Etruscan coast with their spoils. Meanwhile, Regulus landed at Pisa and headed towards Rome to confront the advancing Celts near Telamon, Campo Reggio. Battle. Regulus strategically positioned his troops on a hill to block the Celts' retreat. The Celts, unaware of the Second Roman Army, deployed their infantry to face both sides. A fierce cavalry battle ended in Regulus' death, but the Romans eventually secured the hill. Roman velites attacked the Celtic foot from both sides, causing chaos among the Gaesate. The Incibers resisted the Roman Hestadii fiercely, and the Principes wore down the determined Celtic infantry. Finally, Roman cavalry attacked the exhausted Celts from the flank, leading to a devastating slaughter. Around 40,000 Celts were killed, and Concolatinus was captured. Anaroestes escaped but committed suicide later. After the battle, Papus led the armies into Liguria and the boys' territory for punitive actions. Aftermath Papus received a triumph for his crucial role in the victory, marking the end of the Celtic threat to Rome. Subsequently, in 224 BC, two Roman armies invaded Celtic territories, compelling the boy to surrender. In the following years, further Roman victories in 223 and 222 BC resulted in the Celts yielding vast territories. Roman citizens were then settled on these lands, fueling resentment among the Celts. This resentment later played a significant role in their decision to support Hannibal when he crossed the Alps in 218 BC during the Second Punic War.